You've just bought a house. You're over the moon. You've done this 10 years earlier than the UK average. You did this because you were a top performing salesperson. And you think to yourself, life's good, right? I can chill now. Are you sure about that? So you start to party more, you drink more, and you spend more. A month later, you get to your desk on a Monday morning, you check your calendar, and you see a 30 minute invite for 2 p.m. The panic sets in, I know what this is about. You've seen it all over LinkedIn, and as the panic fills your body, you start to think, how am I gonna pay my mortgage? My friends are gonna laugh at me. My parents are gonna think I'm a disappointment. And in this panic, you just lay in your bed, and you turn to your side, and you see a box you hadn't even unpacked yet. You take the box cutter, you slice open the box and you open it and you see a book, a book you haven't even laid eyes upon since lockdown, Marcus Aurelius, Meditations. It dawns on you, you'd forgotten the most important rules of Stoicism. Rule number one, treat success and failure the same. Bro, look, if you don't follow these four rules of, of Stoicism, you'll end up being a man who leads by emotion and not logic like I was. When I bought that house, I forgot to treat success and failure the same. The story goes, Marcus Aurelius hired a slave to follow him around when he was emperor. And this slave would follow him around in the town square. And every time Marcus Aurelius was criticised, and every time Marcus Aurelius was praised and shown gratitude, this slave had one job. It was to whisper in his ear, you're just a man, you're just a man. They say two things define us. Our patience when we have nothing, and our humility when we have everything. You see, if you treat success and failure the same, you, you, it's very hard to be corrupted by the wins that you may have in life. It's very hard to go out and drink when you've won something. And on the flip side, when you've lost something, it's very hard to feel disheartened and sad because both success and failure are just two sides of the same coin. Rule number two, memento mori. The rule is very simple, memento mori, and it's to live as if you were dead. How would your life be if you lived your life as if you were dead? Would you be scared to approach that girl in the coffee shop? No. Would you be scared to go into your boss and ask him for a raise? No. Would quitting your job and starting a business in an industry that you have no experience in scare you? No. That's how we're supposed to live our lives. If you live your life as if you're already dead, you can then fully throw yourself into your life's mission. Because, well, you're going to die anyway. Rule number three. The impediment of action advances action. What stands in the way becomes the way. I think Alex Mosey probably put this quote best in sort of more modern terms and more, more modern language. It was in his podcast with Chris Williamson where he goes, The magic you are looking for is in the work you're avoiding. Everything that you're avoiding to do in your day-to-day -day life, just do the work. Do the thing that you're avoiding to do. Eat the elephant, right? Because if you stop doing those things, if you avoid getting up in the morning and going to the gym, you'll never go to the gym. If you avoid sitting down in front of a camera and filming this, this YouTube video because you don't want to do it, you'll never film the YouTube video. If you avoid making that YouTube short reel that you have to make to promote your business, you won't do it. Just do the work. And one, in doing that work, you'll then find the, you then find the discipline, you'll then find the motivation to carry on. But the very act of doing is the first thing that you always have to do. Number four, focus on what you can control. If your car breaks down, that's out of your control. If your fridge breaks, that's out of your control. If your hob cracks, that's out of your control. If your phone dies because you updated the iOS system, that's out of your control. One of the most important rules in stoicism is focusing on what you can actually control. And everything that's outside of your locus of control, don't worry about it, forget about it. It's not, you can't do anything to impact it anyway. You want the insurance company to work faster? They won't. So stop wasting energy on it. You have to choose how to react on, in certain situations. You can choose to flip out and be angry. Sure, feeling the emotion for five, 10 minutes is okay, but then if you carry on that emotion for, 10, 15, for a week, two weeks, three weeks, you then let it weigh you down and it stops you from actually achieving the mission that you wanted to achieve. I fail every day at these rules, but if I can try and live by these ideals, eventually I'll get there. So yeah, if, you're, if you like this video, obviously like and subscribe, and, and if you didn't, all right, that's that then, mate.